Do you know the 14 things people waste their money on according to Warren Buffett? It's a question that may have you scratching your head but fear not, we're here to enlighten you. In today's video we will be dissecting the financial wisdom of the Oracle of Omaha himself, Warren Buffett. We'll delve into the common monetary pitfalls that many fall into, from an obsession with brand names to the dream of owning a house right down to the little things like unnecessary subscriptions and junk food. We'll also unravel why habits like smoking and vaping, impulse buying and credit card misuse can be detrimental to your financial health. Ever wondered if eating out too frequently or constantly upgrading your gadgets is draining your wallet? We'll answer that too. So, if you're ready to take a deep dive into these 14 points of financial wisdom, then buckle up. Without further ado, let's delve into the first point. First on the list is brand name obsession. We've all been there, haven't we? The allure of a shiny new product, emblazoned with a well-known glamorous logo. It's not just about the product itself anymore, it's about the status and prestige that comes with owning something from a coveted brand. However, this obsession can quickly lead us down a path of unnecessary spending. Many times we're paying for the brand name, not the quality. The same product minus the logo could be available at a fraction of the cost. But the lure of the brand name convinces us to part with our hard-earned cash. This isn't to say that all brand name products are a waste of money. Some truly are superior in quality. But Warren Buffett advises us to be discerning shoppers. Don't let a logo dictate your spending. Instead, focus on the value and utility of the product. Moving on, let's discuss the second point. Buying a house. This may come as a surprise to many. After all, isn't owning a home considered a wise investment a symbol of stability and success? Well, not according to Buffett. He believes that unless you're sure you'll stay in a place for a considerable amount of time, buying a house might not be the best financial decision. The costs of maintenance, insurance, property taxes and not to mention the mortgage, can add up over time, often exceeding the cost of renting. Moreover, a house ties up a considerable amount of your capital, which could otherwise be invested in more liquid and potentially higher return assets. So, Buffett's advice? Rent if you're uncertain about your long-term plans, and only buy a house when you're ready to make it a home. So before you splurge on that designer bag, or commit to a mortgage, think twice. Are you truly getting value for your money, or are you being swayed by brand names and societal expectations? Making wise financial decisions starts with questioning our spending habits and understanding the difference between wants and needs. Moving on to the third point, unnecessary subscriptions. You know, it's quite easy to get lured into the world of subscriptions. Streaming services, monthly beauty boxes, gym memberships, the list goes on. The convenience factor is undeniable. But here's the catch. Are you fully utilizing these services, or are they just silently draining your finances month after month? Let's take a closer look. Picture this. You have subscriptions to four different streaming services, but you only regularly use two. That's money trickling out of your pocket every month for something you hardly use. Over time, this adds up and becomes a significant amount. Now imagine if that money were invested wisely instead. A completely different picture, isn't it? Now, let's transition to our next point. Smoking and vaping. Not only are these habits detrimental to your health, but they also burn a hole in your pocket. It's a double-edged sword. Consider the cost of a pack of cigarettes or a vaping kit. Now multiply that by the frequency of your purchases. It's quite astounding, isn't it? And that's just the upfront cost. The long-term financial implications are even more staggering. The potential medical costs associated with smoking-related illnesses can be astronomical, not to mention the potential loss of income due to health issues. Moreover, the money spent on these habits could be redirected towards more fruitful pursuits. Think about it, instead of buying that pack of cigarettes or that vaping kit, you could be investing that money, helping it grow over time. In conclusion, be mindful of the subscriptions you sign up for. Regularly assess whether they are still serving you and don't hesitate to cut the cord if they're not. As for smoking and vaping, remember that the financial cost is just one aspect. The impact on your health is far more profound and lasting. Remember, your health is an investment, not an expense. Before we proceed to the next points, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the watermark at the lower right side of the video. Your support enables us to continue sharing insights and tips like these, and if you think this information could benefit someone you know, why not share the video with them? Let's spread the wisdom and help others make smarter financial choices. Now let's continue to the fifth point. Next up, buying a new car. 
Have you ever considered the financial implications of buying a new car? The moment you drive that shiny new vehicle off the lot, its value depreciates significantly. It's like throwing your hard-earned money into the wind. Not exactly a picture of financial savvy, is it? Let's consider an alternative. A pre-owned car, particularly a certified model, can offer you all the benefits of a new car, without the hefty depreciation. It's been said that a car loses approximately 20% of its value within the first year. Now, that's a lot of money you could be saving by opting for a used vehicle. Furthermore, insurance costs are typically lower for used cars. So, the next time you're thinking about buying a new car, remember it's not just about the sticker price, it's about making a smart long-term financial decision. Now, let's shift gears and talk about credit card misuse. Credit cards can be a real double-edged sword. If used responsibly, they can help build your credit history, offer reward points, and provide a safety net in emergencies. However, misuse of credit cards can lead to a vortex of high interest rates and increasing debt, a financial pitfall that's hard to climb out of. Credit card companies often lure us in with attractive offers and seemingly low minimum payments. But remember, every time you carry a balance to the next month, you're charged interest. And those interest rates are no joke. Some credit cards have interest rates as high as 25%. That's a quarter of your balance every year. So, before you swipe that plastic, make sure you have a plan to pay it off in full each month. Credit cards can be a great tool for managing your finances, but only if used wisely. Treat them like a 30-day interest-free loan, not a ticket to buy things you can't afford. Always remember, a credit card is a tool, not a lifeline. As we move forward, let's talk about impulse buying. It's that sudden urge to buy something you hadn't planned on. It's the candy bars at the checkout counter, the online flash sale, the buy one, get one deals. But remember, a bargain is only a bargain if you actually need it. Next up, eating out too frequently. Sure, it's convenient and fun, but it's also a quick way to drain your wallet. Cooking at home is a much more cost-effective choice and it can be just as enjoyable. Then there's constantly upgrading gadgets and devices. We all love the latest tech, but do we really need a new phone every year? Think about it. Excessive social spending and living beyond means is another major pitfall. Keeping up with the Joneses can lead to financial ruin. It's important to know your limits and stick to them. Lottery tickets and gambling are the next on our list. The odds are always in favor of the house, and while dreaming of a big win is exciting, it's not a sound financial strategy. Drinks at the bar? They're fun, social, and often quite pricey. Enjoying a drink at home can be just as enjoyable and far less expensive. Next, personal care products. We all want to look and feel our best, but do we need a bathroom cabinet full of expensive products to achieve that? Often less is more. Finally, junk foods. They may be cheap and tasty, but they're not good for your health or your wallet in the long run. Investing in good, nutritious food is a far better bet. And that concludes the list of the 14 things people waste their money on, according to Warren Buffett. Let's quickly recap the 14 points we've discussed. Watch out for brand name obsession and think twice before buying a house. Reevaluate unnecessary subscriptions and quit smoking or vaping. Be cautious when buying a new car and avoid credit card misuse. Resist impulse buying and eating out too frequently. Be mindful of constantly upgrading gadgets, excessive social spending, lottery tickets and gambling. Cut down on drinks at bars, personal care products, and junk foods. Remember, being mindful of where your money goes is the first step to financial freedom. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.